about, um, you can probably tell from the title what it's about. But yeah, um, as you can see, I don't have a knife. I got scammed. It was my fault, but yeah, I got scammed out of my knife. I'm quite sad about it. I, especially the thing I was about, I was literally about to put out a video to celebrate 20 subscribers about how I got my knife. And, um, yeah, but I can't, I can still make that because I did get a knife. It's just, I, uh, I can't show you it. Uh, I had shouted at your skate hard. And I was actually sad because the day early, like right before it, I made a lot of profit because trading, because I, or like $5 for, uh, because some guy wanted my nose a lot and he pay, overpaid a bit. And that made me happy. I, was excited and then one of my um then i was on a trade server because um the price of the knife i made off this so i was like okay i can probably get something really nice out of it so i went on a trade server um and i started talking to this guy um it wasn't a bot so i wasn't scammed by a bot but i started talking to this guy he was really friendly um he wanted to help me he said he had a lot of money in like CSGO Big or something. See, it was either CSGO Big or CSGO Double. I'm pretty sure. It was, yeah, it was CSGO Big, sorry. But, um, he, had a, he said he had a lot of money in it and he would pay, and I asked him if I would, I would pay for it, like, where did it go? I asked him if he could take out a gut knife ultraviolet for, or not, or not, I, that's an F I had. I had a gut knife ultraviolet. I was like, hey bro, can you take out a, um, uh, that nice tiger team for me, please? And he was like, of course, dude. As long as you pay the money, which it will cost, like, it's like $108. As long as you pay the $108, I'll take whatever knife out for you you want. I was like, hey, this is awesome. Thanks so much, man. And he was like, and, um, and he was really friendly. And then he just said that it was, it, it, every time he tried to take it out, it, it kept giving him a error message. And I was, and I, that happens a lot. I remember when I, how I got my knife, is I gambled a lot on CSGO, um, Wild, and, um, it when no, sorry, it was, his money was on CSGO Double, sorry. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, it said, um, yeah, sorry, um, it, yeah, but anyway, um, he said he had money on CSGO Double, uh, like a lot, and he sent me a screenshot of it, and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, it seemed legit. He had like eight thousand dollars in it, and he said he got really lucky, put a bet on green, like two hundred dollars on green, and it was green, so he made it uh, back and got and made some gr good profit. So I was like, that's not. I've seen YouTubers do that. I'm not going to say that never happened. And then um, so he did. So he said he'd take it out. He said it was giving him an error message, and he was like really kind. Uh, we were talking a lot. Um, I went on. Uh, so anyway, what we did is um, he said because through it you can like send, you can put in there like Steam 64 ID, I think is what they call it, and then it will um, then you can transfer a certain amount of credits. And he said he would transfer me the credits. So what we did is um, I put it in an offer. I put it in an offer. Uh, and I was in my mobile authenticator thingy. He overlaid it, and we were on Skype. We were on Skype screen share, so I could see his um, screen to show it was legit. And what we did is, um, he showed he had the trade up. It said, um, it said transfer one hundred eight thousand. No, sorry. It said the amount of the joint the knife cost transfer over to account whatever and i checked it it was my number because i'd sent him my number and it was actually my number so i was like okay this looks pretty safe um and what he did is he had steam up in one side and it up in the other so when the thingy popped one for one new trade offer he hit accept and i showed him that it was the only trade offer i had opened so uh because he insisted that i he didn't want to be scammed by me he wanted to show that it was the only trade offer, so I wasn't sending him like a PD thousand uh, sand dune. Sorry, I love that thing, yeah. but a PD thousand sand dune, uh, PD uh, PD fifty sand dune, and it was actually the correct offer. And I showed him the, I know we switched screens, and I showed him the, um, it was actually the only trade I had up, and. Um, so, it, and he was like, okay, so what I'll do is when that turns green, I'll hit send credits, and then I'll accept the trade, and I was like, okay, that seems legit, because, um, and, he, oh, and I sent it, and he was like, and I was like, wait, they didn't come through, and I hit refresh a couple times, 
And then when I went and looked, he had accepted the trade. He had unadded and blocked me. I didn't get the credits, but it, and I was like, and then I was like, I was pissed. so I took, I went upstairs up in my house, and I was worried, and I was just trying to think of what I was gonna do, and um, I was just trying to think of what I should was gonna do about this, and um, because I, I, it took me, I was like, it took me a minute. I was like, maybe it's just not loading or whatever. It took me a minute to realize that I'd gotten scammed out of my knife, and and my off red line, uh, which was um, a really sick thing. It had a great flow on it, and um, I it took me a minute to realize that I'd just been scammed out of my stuff, because I was trying to figure out, but I checked it, it all made sense, I didn't get one credit, and then while I was, um, well then I, so I went upstairs, and I just laid down, I was like trying to figure out what had just happened, and um, so what had happened is, all I could figure out, I'm not sure, I, I was just trying to figure out what happened, I didn't know of any, I knew that like, of those like send me the skins and I'll send you the credits or whatever those super fishy ones we did it at the same time we'd screen shared through Skype um we'd done all this stuff so like I was like okay this is le this is pretty legit I like this um this looks pretty legit I think I can trust this guy and he was a real guy we've been talking a bit and he wasn't doing that whole like hurry up I don't think I have time um to do it I have to go hurry up hurry up hurry up he wasn't trying to like pressure me into doing it, which is a thing most scammers will try to do. Um, he wasn't pressuring me. It was like take your time. Um, and just like, and I said, and it looked pretty. I like sheets, by the way. Um, it like worked out, by the way. And um, I just felt, and it looked legit. This guy was super, super friendly. He had tons and tons of plus reps on his profile. Yeah, there. Now that I look back at it, there were probably bots but still um if if he just he was really friendly i met him on a trade server and all i could and i'm gonna tell you how i think how we, i think he did it i'm not certain but um i'm gonna show you uh if you press f12 you open up the console menu on like chrome or you can highlight something so i'm just gonna minimize this and switch you over to a random like internet screen um So, um, you're on my, so you can see my Steam. So let's go over into Mozilla, Mozilla, sorry, that's such a weird internet name for something, uh, I hate how I have to switch this up. So Mozilla. Okay, so see how it says, um, Mozilla planning on traveling, whatever, you can highlight this and then, uh, left click, hit inspect element, it opens up this thingy, if you click this drop down menu, you can see uh, it's about to get easier. You can tap on this. You can edit the text. It uh, so let's erase the text and let's turn it and let's just say J at double um, three three five YouTube text boom text and hit enter. Uh, I should, um, then I would press, uh, I should put a space after it, but, um, hit enter, close this, boom, j 135 YouTube text, uh, refresh the page, and it's gone, but, um, that's what he did, he probably, uh, uh, CSGO, nah, let's just open CSGO Polygon, it's the same as double, I have no idea what's going on here, refresh. Okay, never mind then. Uh, something is wrong with CSGO Pro Polygon. Anyway, um, what he did is he took his credit amount. Well, uh, let's go on CSGO Double, I guess. Just to show you, I can show you what I think he did. I just want to make this as accurate so none of you guys get scammed by this. It's pretty um, CSGO Double, sign in through Steam, whatever. Balance, zero, click, inspect element, Balance zero. Um, balance span ID. I'm not exactly sh deep backspace. Balance. Okay, I took out the balance. Hit enter. Balance one hundred thousand. Enter. And now we can close this. Boom. 
I went from zero to 100,000 credits. No, these aren't real credits. So anyway, um, I was like, oh, so he, that's what he probably did. He probably didn't have like any money. He probably had like the, um, put, enter a code and get 20 free credits or whatever. And he probably, and um, so what you can do is you can put like in chat, I'm not actually gonna do it. It's like gift, gift, 100,000 credits to, and then you'd put in their code and you'd hit enter. Um, and it would say, you have, tra and it will, and it's, it will pop up a message right about here saying, are you sure you want to transfer credits to whatever? And I'd hit, okay, sure. I'd hit, okay. Um, and you'd hit okay, and then they would hit refresh right here. If I actually click refresh, if I refresh a page, I'm back at zero. But um, and he cha and he probably put in the code of a second Steam account. So he probably put in a code of a second Steam account, and then he took the code, uh, inspect elemented, changed it to my code, which I sent him. So when I it did a screen share, it was my code, and I was like. It was my code, and so I was like, okay, he's sending the proper amount. He changed it from, like, 10 credits, which it probably was, to however much it costs. It was, like, 108,000 whatever thing is. It doesn't really matter. And I was like, uh, and so I was like, okay, this is, it looked so legit. In reality, it, and then he unadded and blocked me. So what he, it was pretty much an un inspect element trick. I, I was stupid. I fell for it. Um, but it was my fault. I should have been smarter. But I am going to link this guy's account down in the description. If you have a Steam account, please report him for trade scams. I, if he gets a trade ban, that means he won't be able to do anything with it. With the stuff. Um, let's see if I can transfer. I'm going to transfer you back over to my Steam now. Steam. Okay. Um, community. Let's see if I can actually, I'm actually trying to find him. Blocked users, did I actually block him back? No. Did I, does it count? Um, He's in here somewhere, let me find him. I wanna show you his profile just in case. I was worried about my friends, I sent all my friends a message after the, after the scam saying, hey watch out, he might go for you off my um because you might go off my free friends list onto one of theirs and i wouldn't want that to happen i that would suck i don't i was stupid enough to fall for a thing i don't want my friends to fall for it he probably changed his name now that i think about it because he would be stupid not to is there a way to open up recent chats that's uh, steam this is from a trade server. These are all the people on the trade server I was in for a while. And he, sh he probably changed his name. He's not stupid enough to keep the same name. Oh wait, no, I know what I can do. Inventory. See, as you can see, my knife's gone. My most expensive skin is this. I've been completely crippled. One new accepted. See, Mako. Here we go. Uh, not online. See, like, look at this. Plus rep, best guy ever. Plus rep, shit player. Who cares? Plus, went first in Steam code trade. Plus rep, best guy. Minus rep, cheater. 50 kills in a game. I've gotten 50 kills in a game. That's not that big deal. Um, hi, add me, please. Plus, you're at buy Steam codes and is legit. Signed by Blender. Best guy in the world. Plus, rep. Plus, rep. Best guy in the world. Plus, rep. Plus, rep, Swedish. Just things like this. And I'm like, okay. He has H1Z1, he has CSGO, but, um, this was the guy who scammed me, um, screenshots, what did he screenshot, 
He probably, uh, like, let's look at his inventory. Back. Inventory. He probably traded off my knife already. Yeah, he did. Wow. He got some DLs. When I visited his profile, he had a Pick'em trophy. He had a Wildfire trophy. He had these crap skins, these crap stickers, and my knife. Uh, an op red line. He had an op red. He took my op red line and my um. And my uh. Knife. And now I come back. He's already traded it for a flip knife. Mar he probably scammed another guy out of this. And this. He probably traded uh. He. There's no way he had a. Uh, his inventory was crap. And he was just saying he was trying to buy expensive skins with good patterns. Because on CSGO Double, it's hard to find, like, sapphires or rubies. So he was trying to get, like, a crombit ruby. And he would take off the skins you wanted from CSGO Double. And he probably tricked somebody with this and scammed them, too. So this just proves that he's scammed multiple people. I am going to link this down in the uh, description for you guys. So please, come here. Click more, report violation, attempted trade scam, scammer, please report, and ban. Just type something like that. Hit submit report. And then if we all report him enough, he'll get a trade ban. So in his inventory, he'll have these locked in. He won't be able to scam anyone else because he won't be able to take it out of their inventory. So what's in his um, inventory will be locked in. He'll never be able to trade with anybody ever again. Um, he has a pretty big inventory too. He has lots of stuff from H1Z1, Counter-Strike, Culling. And I trusted this guy. I was stupid. But I want to warn you guys about this. And I'm sorry if I'm reiterating the same stuff over and over and over and over again. But this guy... My worst fear is one of my subscribers, one of you guys watching, will lose your items. It's a terrible feeling. It makes you feel like crap. And I don't want this to happen to you guys. So, um, yeah. He probably has scammer friends or whatever. Buying knives. And my one last warning is only do trades one-to-one. -one. Never trade for Steam codes. They're all scams. Never trade for, um... Never trade for um, CSGO whatever credits. It's just a waste. You'll lose your stuff. Please, I'm begging you. If you want to trade your knife, trade it one for one. Spend the time looking for somebody. Go on CSGO Exchange or whatever and find somebody with the knife you want. Go on CSGO Lounge. Just trade one for one. Don't waste your time with these people. All they're out there to do is scam you. See if I try to add him, he blocked me. It says error adding friend communication between has been blocked. So he blocked me after he stole my items. He stole another person's knife, probably. I'm begging you, please, please, only trade for actual one-to-one -one items. Um, share this video with your friends. I feel terrible, but um, let's try to get this. Let's try to get this video. I don't even care about likes. All I want you guys is if you have any friends with expensive inventories, share this video with them. Tell them it's a new scam. Maybe it's not a new scam, but I know tons of scams. I've I watched YouTube videos. I researched because once I had an expensive inventory, like over $100, I didn't want it to be taken because I know there are people out there who are, who, are wanted, who are willing to do stuff, to take stuff from you. So I was... So if you have a friend with an expensive inventory, I'm asking you to share this video with them. Not just to get me support and views. I just want people to know about this scam. If um, if there's any other new scam things that you guys know about, please leave it in the comments. Um, yeah, I, I don't want your pity. I made a stupid mistake. But I, all I hope is you guys learn from this. And please report this guy. I want him to get a trade ban. I want this to be locked in his inventory. If he actually does have credits on CSGO double like he was saying, let's let him keep him there. So he'll never be able to withdraw anything. If we can get this guy shut down, if we can get this guy shut down, we'll be good. And like you might think, oh, he was, was he speaking broken English like most governors? 
No, we're in a Skype call. We're talking voice to voice. He spoke perfect English in a strong Swedish accent. So, I just, I don't want this to happen to you guys. Please, just share this with your friends. Let's try, um, let's just not, let, I don't want this to happen to you. And maybe I was just stupid. Maybe he took advantage of me. Maybe he's, maybe, I'm just worried. I don't, like, it made me feel like crap. I literally felt like I was going to throw up after I realized I'd just been scammed. So I'm begging you guys, please, be careful of people like this. Only do one-to-one -one trades. Don't go for Steam gift codes. Don't go for credit transfers. Because it's simple. You just, um, all, you can just simp simply get scammed. I just don't want this to happen to you guys. And please, um, yeah. So, I was, I'll be coming out with more videos. I was going to do a army review, but I felt like this was more important. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll see you guys later. Uh, beware of scammers and be safe, guys. Like, seriously. I don't want you guys to get hurt, so yeah, be safe, be careful.